Good evening, folks, and welcome to Huge News, your real source of unreal news. I'm your host, Mogdan, and here are tonight's topics. A group of friends were doing an AVA raid, but in the middle of it, one of them was banished into the underworld, where he allegedly met an ancient race of aliens known as Anunnaki. He's gonna be joining us for an interview later throughout the show. A suspect cosplaying as Pepe the Frog was recorded while pooping on stream and killing players. The unfortunate news is that the Arch Police, even though they tried, they could couldn't catch him, so the suspect is still on the loose. Mr. Hugh Jess, an expert in guilds, is gonna join us later on during our show to explain the big benefits of having a guild in Albion Online and why you should join one as well. A group of friends were doing Avalonian raids. Nothing surprising over there, nothing out of the ordinary. But something very extraordinary actually happened when one of them got banished into the underworld. There he claims he has seen an ancient alien civilization known as Anunnakis. He claims he made first contact with the alien civilization and he claims that they want to destroy the planet. All of those are pretty outlandish claims, which is why I wanted to have the person in cause here on our show. Mr. Mike Roach, welcome on our show and thank you for being our guest. I know you've been through a lot, but I wanted to have you here to clarify a little bit the statement that you have made. Mike Roach, what did you exactly see over there? Oh, Magdon. I've seen horrible things, things that I have a very hard time even describing. Most of my memory was erased, but I still have fractures, segments that I remember. I remember seeing pyramids, lots and lots of pyramids. There was also a spaceship that defied the laws of physics. And I remember seeing somebody that looked like Mark Zuckerberg. M Mr. Mr. Roach, what exactly did those aliens do to you? Mr. Mogdone, they probed me. Not only me, they probed everybody and to think they were so peaceful until the incident. Mr. Roach, what incident are we talking about? You see, Mogdone, they placed us in a line and forced us to go one by one to get probed. It was horrible. Everybody was terrified. But then there was this one man. When his turn came, he was not screaming. He didn't even seem scared. The aliens started probing him, and instead of the usual scream that we heard every single time someone got probed, he went, Oh, oh, arigato-san senpai! At that moment, I saw the aliens' eyes glow red. They took great offense, I guess. They swore they would destroy our planet. Mogden, we are doomed. M Mr. Mike Roach, first of all, I want to thank you for being here. And thank you for sharing this with us. This whole thing must have been a very traumatic experience for you. You are a brave person and we appreciate your bravery to come on our show and tell us what you've seen. It must have been very hard for you to do this. Because not every day you meet the ancient aliens known as Anunnaki. We very much appreciate your presence here on our show. And we're sorry that you had to go through this. And we are going to hope that you are going to be able to go through this. Just keep the strength up. You're a powerful man. Keep the strength up and you're going to be able able to go through this. And thank you again so much for your presence on our show. A man cosplaying like Pepe the Frog managed to find a way to charm elementals. Yes, you heard me right, the man in cause was in the mists. He teamed up with an elemental to kill a poor bystander. And while all of this was unfolding, the man in cause was pooping while live on Twitch. I know, what you've just heard is pretty hard to believe, but it is all recorded. We're about to show you the footage, but beware, viewer discretion is advised as some of the images might cause emotional damage. Ooh, oh, thanks, bro. <laughs> Sheesh, with the assist. 
In other news, people are wondering what is the use of guilds in a game like Albion Online. Now while I am not an expert on the field, we do have here with us Mr. Huge Ass, which is one of the biggest guild experts that I've ever had the pleasure to meet. Mr. Huge Ass, what can you tell us about the use of guilds? Do they have any purpose or are they just there to make alliances form a little bit easier between players? Hello, Mogden! Thank you so much for having me on your show! What is the use of guilds? Such a stupid question! Look at all those potatoes! They feed me and my family! Guilds are very useful! Those potatoes wouldn't have been there if somebody did not invite them right as they went out of the tutorial island! Look at this! This is my most beautiful potato! This is my newest potato! Look at this! He already makes babies! Because they not only get invited as they go out of the tutorial, but they also invite each other, because why not give them perms? And as long as you have the tax at 100%, you're gonna farm a lot of potatoes, and you can join the ranks of potato farmers like me. I don't know how people use guilds normally, but I know how I use them. I use them to feed me and my family. I don't know what I would be if I wasn't a potato farmer. I don't know how people can survive in Albion without being potato farmers. Look at this beautiful potato, it's one of my favorites, but it still does not be- Okay, one potato just died, but I have plenty more where that came from, look at this behind me, look at this behind me. Such a stupid question, man, such a stupid question. Mr. Huge Ass, thank you so much for your report. Tonight's show is nearing to an end, but before we end, customary to us, we have to do one more segment, and that is the creator spotlight. Tonight's spotlight shines upon scripted gaming, a scripted channel of scripted gaming that scripts scripted videos for the scripted channel gaming videos. He's a very good content creator that honestly puts a lot of time and effort into making his videos, and I strongly suggest you check them out. Oh, and they're scripted. That being said, tonight's episode of Huge News is over. Thank you so much everybody for watching. If you liked what you've seen, please consider supporting us on Patreon, as this studio does not come in cheap and toilet paper is getting more and more expensive with each passing second. Also, before you go and commit utter heresy, please consider checking out this video right here or potentially even watching us live. You know, we're live every day. I mean, not we, my collaborator, Mogden the Mighty Wizard, but He's live every day, you should check him out, he's a very, very talented content creator, and he has a pointy hat. Very nice hat. Thank you.